Yo, what is going on, guys? Chris back with a 4K review for two releases instead of one. Thought I'd knock out both films at the same time. Got John Wick Chapter 3, Parabellum, incredible film. Definitely my favorite out of this franchise, and Keanu kicking ass like no other, and Halle Berry joining in on the fun. And I thought they both had uh, great chemistry and teamwork in this film, and a motorcycle chase like no other, and knife fights, and Keanu riding horseback, and that whole scene was amazing, man. I thought it was quite funny, too, what happens in that scene. But, um, yeah, I also love the cinematography of this film, the whole neon colors of, uh, you know, New York City coming through with the rain. It had that uh, film noir look and feel, which I absolutely loved. And, of course, got the fourth installment of Rambo, because, as you know, the fifth film, Last Blood, is about to hit theater, so they went ahead and released the fourth film. So anyway, both 4K releases are 2K upscales to 4K. And as I recall, Chapter 3 was shot in uh, 3.2K, but it was given a 2K DI. But nonetheless, it looks incredible. Rambo, honestly, not as much. Uh, it's a bit darker, a lot darker than the uh, Blu-ray release. But uh, sharpness is a lot better, definitely. And uh, it's the audio mix is where you're going to benefit, man. I'm talking about reference quality audio. This is top-notch stuff for Rambo features the Atmos mix and it's just kick-ass, lots of bass, the overheads, it just really immerses you into the action completely. Definitely worth a pickup and quite a bargain too, man. You can pick it up for um, less than 20 bucks, so you can't go wrong with that. And of course, John Wick Chapter 3 features a really immersive audio track as well. Also includes the Atmos track in 7.1. So yeah, definitely recommend both releases. But like I said, don't go in expecting a, a really great looking image for Rambo. It's going to look good, but it's not going to blow you away. And um, yeah, so I'm rating the Rambo a 4 out of a 5 for the picture. I'm rating uh, John Wick Chapter 3, 4.5 out of a 5. And of course, 5 out of a 5 all the way for both audio mixes for uh, yeah both of the films. And Rambo includes both the extended as well as the theatrical cut. But I've always preferred the extended version, definitely. A lot more blood and gore, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, moving along to the features. Both releases have uh, tons of features. You know the drill. Behind the scenes featurettes, interviews, making up featurettes, and all that good stuff. Keanu Reeves still kicking ass in his mid-50s. Incredible stuff. And he definitely has a busy schedule because they recently announced the fourth installment of uh, Matrix. And he's going to do the fourth installment of... Uh, John Wick, so uh, yeah, quite a busy man. Actually, had the privilege of uh, meeting Keanu last year at Starbucks of all places. You know, I ordered my drink, so I'm standing on the side, and in comes Keanu in his motorcycle uniform with the helmet on. He was with a lady friend, so I didn't really want to bother him, but shaked his hand, asked him how he's doing. Really down to earth guy, total gentleman. And uh, I was basically asking him because uh, this is in between uh, chapter two, so chapter three wasn't even made. And I asked him, I'm like, uh, Keanu, so what's going on with Chapter 3? He's like, oh, buddy, we're going to film it in about a month. So he, he was going to head out to New York to start filming Chapter 3. And uh, and here it is. It's all done. So anyway, guys, thought I'd do a quick review for both of these films on 4K. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, take care. And I'll see you guys in the next one.